Hi everyone and welcome back to Ashley's Corner or maybe I should welcome myself back. Welcome back Ashley, welcome back. Thank you very much. I know that I fell off the face of earth but when life throws you curveballs sometimes you just have to back up and just take care of yourself. Just been trying to heal to like grieve and if i needed to or anything of that sort and just reevaluate myself get myself back together find a solution and just legit keep it pushing so if anything in life was to just literally throw you a curveball which i know that everybody goes through in life it's okay to grieve it's okay to dwell it's okay for any of that as long as you don't stay in the same spot on standstill like you have to keep pushing and that's exactly what I did so I'm back and I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible with at least making two videos per month so yeah I'm back so today's video is going to be more of what I've been using in the past couple of months and what I've been loving as well um I can honestly say in the makeup category I don't have much the simple fact that I haven't been using makeup to be honest but um, I have a bunch of hair care stuff and a bunch of like miscellaneous stuff as well on the side. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So first things first, if you do see me looking down, it's because I have everything right now over here. And then I have all the products on this side. So we're going to start with the makeup first. First thing I do want to talk about is Morphe. Um, I purchased two morphe liquid lipsticks i believe last month or the beginning of this month um and they are look like this so this is the morphe liquid lipsticks um and the colors bloodshot and nibble um i currently have the color nibble on my lips today i going to be honest i tried blush out today because i like never use it so i was like oh let me just try it out for the video and see how it looks because i felt like it would have went with what i have on and i really kind of don't like it um i'm not too sure if it was maybe the lip liner that i used to outline and color in underneath but it was really like um patchy and dry i'm not too sure why because it's the same um the same brand the same lip, liquid lipstick just different color um so yes it's this color and i really love it so i'm so sad that i really didn't like it i'm going to try again probably with a different lip liner and see if i like it but i removed everything and then put nibble back on i've used this before and i absolutely loved it so let's just watch over here so first of all, blush out is more like a burgundy color and then nibble was more like on the brown side and I love it. And they smell like cake. Everything smells like cake and frosting to me. So yes, they smell like cake. And um in the Ulta website, because I originally bought these in the Morphe store, but in the Ulta website it's ten dollars for one and in the Morphe store it was two for fifteen. So yeah. Um other than the way bloodshot went applied on me today um i have to try it again but nibble nibble is a great color and i love it i use for a lip liner to put underneath for today the nyx lip liner and it's the slim lip pencil and nutmeg and i got this in ulta and it was four dollars so i like it i like the color right here as you can see it matches pretty well with nibble um, so yeah, the lip liner, there's, I have nothing wrong with it, or no complaints about it. Um, the next product I am going to talk about is the Morphe Brontor, and this my best friend actually gave to me. Went to her house one day, playing with her makeup and stuff like that. I applied it onto my face and I loved it. So yes, it's the Morphe Brontor and it's in the color Sebutant. I believe that is so it's a bronzer and a contour in one but I don't um I don't contour I just literally bronze so I just 
dab my brush in there and just bronze up the whole skin and i really like it i like it because it's more of a I actually have it on my face today it's actually more of a subtle type of bronzer opposed to my physician's formula butter bronzer which i actually i love like not only the color blue i love which is this one here it's not only the color blue i love but it's the smell of this bronzer is just amazing and yes but this one is more i will use for more like of a glam type of look or more of a like like actual makeup apply makeup except like today like this is just something that i would do on a regular day um substituting the lipstick i would just put on a clear gloss and i will use this because it's more of a subtle light bronze opposed to this that is more like a harsh bronze if that makes any type of sense so yes, yeah, so this, um, you can also get it in the Morphe store. I believe it's twelve dollars as well, but this is um sold in Ulta for twelve dollars. So can't go wrong. So yes, even though I've been gone a couple of months, I still 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 in the picture, and she's literally right next to me. So if you do hear hear any noises, okay, let me get my drink. Um, the next product I'm going to talk about is not new at all. Um, most of the products that I am going to be mentioning today are not new in the market. It's just new to me, to my life, and what I've been loving lately. So the next product I'm going to talk about is ELF. <laughs> this is the ELF HD Lifting Concealer. It looks like this, and it's in the shade medium um it's like i said it's not new at all i came out with a totally new um concealer i think it's called camo concealer um i actually ordered it online and it's the totally like wrong color and I, I never went back to change it never like repurchased it or anything like that um but this is great for me um this is something that on a simple regular day if i do want to put a little bit of makeup because i'm kind of dark under the eye whatever the case is and it's what i have on today i'll just literally take this apply here apply like everywhere you can say or in even some like spots that i want to cover and just i'll blend this out with my elf stippling the elf stippling brush just blend it out and it works amazing for me um this is in the shade medium and i love it i actually have it for a really long time but this is something for 12 months <laughs> i've had it more than 12 months but i'm perfectly fine and yes i love it and um i've actually been looking to repurchase um i went to target they didn't have any they only had the camel one so this is something that i definitely would have to order online but i recommend it i love it and this is four dollars and they also sell this in ulta and the last makeup product that i'm gonna talk about is uh, a lip lacquer it's a clear lip gloss and it's from elf as well so it's the elf lip lip lacquer and it comes like this um i love this because for the simple fact it doesn't have a smell which is fine for me that doesn't bother me because it's something that i will wear like every day on a daily basis um it's not thick in consistency it's not like sticky or anything it's just a regular schmegular clear gloss you cannot go wrong with this actually came like this and i bought this in ulta yes i bought this in ulta and it was three dollars so can go wrong not go wrong um so now moving to the hair products i can honestly say since i haven't been using any type of makeup i have been taking really good care of my hair so the super fact that it is um bleached blonde um so yeah i can say that this is probably the healthiest my hair has ever been has ever been since being blonde i actually haven't touched up my hair in january in January makes a whole year that I haven't touched up my hair. I haven't colored it. I haven't um, trimmed it, cut it, or anything like that. And this is by far the healthiest. The poly is not long, but for me, it's long. Or 
the longest my hair has ever been in god knows how long um so aside from the hair products and the hair treatment or anything that you use to treat your hair when you are blonde the main important thing is where you go to color your hair because if you're going to a salon that's going to charge you 60 dollars for bleaching highlighting or whatever to your hair the chances are that you're going to come out with your hair like totally totally damaged um years ago i used to go to a place and i don't even remember the price but i I won't doubt if it was $60. Um, I used to come out of there with my hair burnt. Like burnt to the point that these hairs up here like were out like a parrot. Like totally burnt. My hair was not growing at that time. Um, really didn't know much or wasn't really educated on hair treatment. So it was my hair was destroyed. Let's just say my hair was destroyed. But since um, I found a new hair colorist, um, tried new products for my hair my hair has been amazing so yeah my hair has been by far like amazing the longest it's ever grown like i said it's not that long but to me it's been a long like but anyways um i'm rambling on so the first product i do want to talk about i'm gonna go into let's see let's go into treatment so the first one that i do want to talk about is the garnier fruities and this is the one minute mask and this is in coconut it looks like this it's just white like as you can see it's i'm almost done it's like a white cream and then it just smells like coconuts of course um this is so it's the garnier fruities nourishing treat one minute hair mask and coconut extract and this I love this like legit love this um i purchased this in walmart a lot of my hair products i've actually purchased in walmart either it was in store or online um so yeah so i got this from walmart and legit this is 282 like two dollars and 82 cents you cannot go wrong like this it i love it i legit love it um you can feel the difference you can tell the difference even when you, i'm untangling my hair to the point that i'm even washing it off my hair like you can you can definitely feel the softness and like the brittleness or the dryness like you don't feel any of that like i legit love this you cannot go wrong for under three dollars in walmart i believe they sell it as well like rite aid any pharmacy rite aid cvs walgreens and things like that but walmart is for me i feel like it's the cheapest price out there so get yourself one get yourself one um the next product is coca 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 i don't know but it's um it's a it's an oil and it's legit coconut avocado oil in one this is actually of course it's a cooking product but I use this to to put in my hair. It looks gross. It doesn't smell appealing at all. Like it stinks. I'm not gonna lie, it stinks. But I do use this, and I leave it in my hair from put it from the roots. Yes, the roots <laughs> down to the ends of my hair, and I leave it in for as long as I can, even if it's for an hour or for a five. The longer, the better. And yes, it, I can tell the difference. It makes my hair shiny. Um, coconut oil works, even the avocado oil works. Um, and it's just good to treat your hair, like to hydrate your hair. Even if you don't have your hair bleached like mine, if you're, you have your natural color hair, it doesn't matter whichever type of color hair, texture hair, you it's good to hydrate your hair. And this for here, um, I like it it's nothing like out of this world i really prefer the one minute mask over this but it's two separate things i use it for two different reasons so um so yes so i actually bought this i don't know if it's shop and stop or shop right but anyways it was hell of expensive like hell of expensive i paid almost what 12 dollars for this thing i mean it's a pretty big jug i'm not even gonna lie like it's pretty big but um once after after i purchased this i don't know in which store it was i actually googled it which i should have did that at the store i actually googled about this and they sell it in walmart and they sell it in target for half the price so 
So, in Walmart, it's for $6.98. And I believe in Target, it was like $6.99. So, yes, I bought this in the either Stop and Shop or ShopRite. But um, if you're interested, if you are interested, um, yes, check out Walmart and Target and see. They also have different types of oils with this brand. But I just... I love coconut and then I love eating avocados so I was like if I love eating, eating avocados then my hair will love it as well but um so yeah um it's not a bad product um just try it see if you like it see if it helps out more with your hair and yeah so that's that so I'm going to jump into the shampoos and conditioners that I do use because I use two different it's the same brand but two different um same brand but the shampoo conditioners are meant for two different things so first things first is of um first things first is the garnier fruities and the sleek and shine and i can honestly say that i love the garnier fruities brand um the line itself i don't have any complaints to any of the products that um i will be talking about because i do have a, a couple of more i love this brand the smell everything is just amazing guys you don't necessarily have to spend tons and tons and tons of money to treat you to treat to treat your hair so um yeah so this is the garnier for teeth and sleek and shine um it has vitamin e oil and argan oil and it's for frizzy dry unmanageable hair system of up to three days sleep so since this has um oils in it i won't I won't wash my hair if I'm gonna wash this out for the simple fact that this is oil use and this is oil use and I'm oil like I'm an oil gland um so I won't use this shampoo and conditioner to wash out the coconut avocado avocado oh my god the coconut avocado oil in my hair for the simple fact that it's like oils on top of oils so you have oils in your hair and you're gonna wash your hair off with more oils right so i don't use that i would um shampoo and conditioner with this and then i'll put this after um my routine in the shower if i'm gonna wash my hair is i would wash my hair first so that way um after the fact i of course wash my body but then this will have more of a longer time in my hair as i'm washing my body opposed to washing your body and then washing your hair and then you put this off for a while like five seconds so i'll wa wash my hair first um shampoo condition and then leave this on until i'm done completely in the shower so that is with that and then I have the Garnier Fruities right here. And this is the Grow Strong Conditioner. And it has ceramide and apple extract. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is actually a vegan formula. So that's amazing as well. And it's for stronger, healthier hair. System for every inch stronger. And helps resist breakage. So this right here is like... I feel like it doesn't strip my hair, but it cleanses my hair of like or any type of oils that I have uh, of any type of oils that I do have in my hair. So perfect example when I am when I do have this in my hair, I will go in with this because I feel like it takes out all the oils that this could have left me, and it's great. Like no complaints. My hair is super shiny. I really, 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 really love this brand. And then once I'm done with the whole shampoo conditioner, the whole treatments of my hair, whatever the case is, um, it's either I am going to have my hair straight or I'm going to have my hair in a type of curly wave because my hair doesn't curl. But um, for days that I'm kind of lazy or just really on the go and my hair needs to be washed, I would use <laughs> the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine. Oh my God. Fast forward. I mean, rewind, <laughs> rewind. So, um, yes, I totally, like, totally forgot. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. So this right here for the sleek and shine, um, it comes in a bundle in Walmart. Um, so it comes two of these for five eighty for five forty eight, and I believe if you buy them individually, it's probably like three dollars. So yes, 
Walmart. They also sell it, like I said, in any pharmacy, CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, whatever it is you want to go. I like Walmart because the price is cheaper for the same type of product, so why not? And for the Garnier Grow Strong, once again, in Walmart, it does come a bundle for the same price, $5.48. But if you go to, like I said, any local pharmacy, they will have it there as well. Okay, so back to this. This is the Garnier Fruities Active Fruit Protein Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave In Conditioner and it has Argan Oil from Morocco. And it's um, frizzy, it helps with frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair, helps to sleek for three days. Um, this is what I would actually just put, like, just like drown my hair in. I would use this to like, when it's wet, just put a whole bunch try to curl it up because you know, my hair doesn't really curl but it gives gives my hair like a really like a nice curl for me it would be a nice curl um i really love this product it doesn't leave my hair dry like my hair like it says it helps with frizziness with dryness so it does just that um so yes i love this on days that i'm just washing my hair i need to put something in quickly and go um and then i also use this like when my hair is super when my hair is straight and super dirty and i'm just gonna pick it up in a ponytail pick it up in a bun i actually use this instead of using gel like i have a tub of gel and it's been there for god knows how long because that's not something that i really dip into um i would prefer this for sleeking back my baby hairs and etc so yes i um purchased this in walmart as well and this it's also in a bundle. It's in a bundle for $5.48 once again. But if you get this individually, if you want to just buy one instead of getting two, I can say it's less than $3 or just about $3. So I love this. It's really, really good. Very, very good. And for days that I wash my hair and I'm going to blow it out or have it straight like I do today, I will go in with two different products. So the first product I actually had for two, like I don't want to say for like two years. I'm not gonna lie. It is the Bio Silk, and this is a pretty big bottle. Goes a tiny bit goes a long way. So this is why it actually lasted me so long. And I've also even given like half to my sister. I only get this on Marshalls because if you get this, like I believe they also sell this in the drugstore, but it's it's pretty pricey. So Marshalls is the place to go for this oil. I put this on my hair when it's wet. And after the fact, like if I'm blowing it out or if I'm straightening it, I'll put a little more. I'll go more towards my ends than towards my roots. Focus this more on my ends. Um, but yes, I am I saying it correctly? My roots. Yeah, the, the roots. <laughs> So yes, you cannot go wrong $20 for this big bio silk. Um, it would last you a long time. Like I said, a little goes a long way. In combination with both when my hair is wet only, I actually got this in the Ipsy bag um, and I just threw it in the drawer that I have with like all my hair products and stuff like that. Didn't pay no mind to it until I was digging in the, the drawer for something and I saw it and I was like, oh, let me try it because it's... um. I'll show you the mark anthony bye bye frizz protecting leave-in conditioner and it's straight um straightens and protects the, oh straighten and protects during styling and it blocks humidity and it has uh i but it has some type of oil i'm sorry that i cannot pronounce it but yes like i said i got this in an ipsy bag and i was pretty confused because um the directions in the back says to spray onto wet hair but i'm like this is like you just like yeah like that so i'm like how am i gonna really like spray it on my hair but when i went online this actually this is of course this is a little like travel size online it actually comes in a spray bottle like online for you guys and they the cheapest price that i saw it was on amazon and it was for eight dollars and 19 cents but they also sell it in cvs and walmart and in rite aid um so yes what i do is i will put a little bit of oil in my hand and then i will also put a little bit of the um even conditioner in my hand while my hair is wet 
only with this only what um i'll mix both of them put it in my hair and like i said i try not to really focus it on my roots so i will just go down to my hair and down to the ends of my hair i just started using this and i could tell a complete difference in my hair buying together when my hair is wet is amazing and i'm not even gonna lie like um when i'm on the go and i want to put my hair curly with this i would still sometimes even apply the both of them and then put this like it really just depends but um i mainly use this from when i'm going to straighten my hair or um blow out my hair so yes can't go wrong with this it's a really good product so now onto the miscellaneous stuff the first thing i am going to talk about is this scarf i love i love um plaid as you can tell so this is a really nice scarf it's pretty decent size so just it's so yes um this is a scarf that i actually got from target in the dollar spot and it wasn't a dollar it was actually seven bucks but it's it was seven dollars you can't go, cannot go wrong with seven dollars it's um a good size it keeps you warm as you can tell like it just kept covering my whole entire neck so yes yeah, so i got this in the target and the dollar spot seven dollars can't go wrong not too sure if they're still gonna have this because i actually bought this before before halloween because i remember we were shopping for halloween and stuff so yes yeah, so you can still check if they will still have it in the dollar spot in target um the next i'm going to talk about is shirts that i actually got from h&m um it's i know it's regular plain tees and it looks like this but i legit love it for the simple fact that yes it's a plain t-shirt um it's pretty thick in material but it also it has a stretch but it's a thick material and it's thick enough that i feel like it holds me together opposed to any other shirts that i would get like for example like i love old navy like don't get me wrong i like old navy um but if i was to get a t-shirt from old navy i feel like after a while it would be fitting but then it would stretch out and then would just like make me look super square but this it has a stretch but it doesn't stretch out to the point that it fits you big so yes yeah, so this is one um and this is actually 4.99 can't go wrong with 4.99 so this is one color i as you can see it has a tag on this i haven't worn but i actually wore this yesterday i love it it's black with like yellow lining and I also have another one in a olive green color. And next product that I want to talk about is these bad boys right here. These bad boys right here, I love them. They are my like the best thing, the best I feel like high heel shoes that I've ever owned ever in my life i'm not even lying um they are so comfortable that i even forget that i have heels on like these are pretty tall for me people who really know me know that i do not wear heels i cannot walk in heels i nothing in heels is not a good thing this right here i adore these heels well these booties they are super comfortable um i can say i've only worn them twice the first time i didn't really do much because it was just like um a party so i sat down most of the time but the second time i went out to this like local bar and i can say i was um, dancing all like all night with these things truly forgot that i even had heels on or booties heels on and i feel like it's more because of the style of the heel that it's like a black heel opposed to a stiletto heel like i make i'm not even making it out the front door with those heavy heels on so I think what helps more is the fact that it is a pretty thick heel. Um, it feels suede-ish, even though it looks kind of shiny. So it's not, I don't think it's leather. It's like, I'm bad at describing these things. But it's like suede in a way. But anyways, I got these bad boys in DSW and they are called the Palma Platform Booties. And they are $59.99. They're still on the website. I checked today and they're still available. Guys, if you are not a person who wears heels on a daily basis or in general like myself, you cannot go wrong with these things. You cannot get yourself a pair of 
for this winter for the fall amazing like i legit love these things and rings here for my birthday a really good friend of mine she actually um gave me this mini size or travel size um burberry perfume to actually to smell to see you know to see if i like it or not um it is amazing but that's expensive this is expensive i'm not gonna lie it smells amazing it lasts long like it lasts a really long time and even like perfect example if i put it like on a sweater or on my coat whatever the next day the following day whatever you're going to smell it like it's a good as perfume i am not gonna lie but it's expensive so for me i feel like a dupe for this in a way is the in the stars line from bath and body works i don't know i might be wrong but when i smell this it brings me back to this bad boy right here i only really use this on special occasions and i've had this as i'm about to be a year so as you can tell i don't really have special occasions but i try to save this bad boy for special days or whatever special nights and when i smell this line it legit like it totally reminds me of that like it's very similar for now i really only have the lotion and the lotion i of course bath and body works for 12.50 but if you get yourself the body spray that's all you need like the body spray is strong enough to make it feel like you have perfume on so i can just imagine the perfume i've never owned the perfume i've only earned earned i only owned the um body spray and the lotion and it's freaking amazing if you can afford the burberry perfume go and get yourself one because it the smell is just fantastic if you need something more on the affordable side like myself get yourself the in the stars from map and body works you won't regret it so yeah guys that wraps up this video and what i've been loving for the past couple of months um it's not much but it's something for you guys to like go out if you want and go on and try it um i do recommend all of the products that i've mentioned today so i'm going to try my best to try to be consistent and making at least two videos per month as of now because i of course i'm still juggling um my personal life work and everything on the side as well as this so i'm gonna my, try my very best to start making videos at least twice a month and then once things start like falling into place i'll be making more videos more than just twice a month so thank you guys for watching my video and, and until next time bye